They're number seven in the country. Winston Shepard from the San Diego State basketball team, fresh off the practice floor, joining us right now on Scott BR on the Mighty 1090. Winston, hey, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? Doing really good. You guys uh, just get done practicing? Yeah, just got, just got out the weight room. Got out the weight room? Yep. Trying to get stronger Keep our, uh, and just keep it up. Yeah? What, what do they got you doing today? Uh, man, we did some band work, uh, some, some upper body work, and uh, some core work. Yeah, not, really? not really like pumping iron, though. I mean, you got some cord work and, and just those bands, right? Yeah. Not, okay. N- nothing too heavy. Just, no. Uh, just trying to maintain right now. Not not really trying to kill ourselves. Yeah. How about like a uh, post workout protein shake? Because you know you you know you're a tall you know guy, and and you know last year <laughs> you were a skinny little freshman. Now you're starting to put it on. Yeah, man. I've I've been putting in a lot of work, and uh, I always try to eat and uh, like you said, get a shake or something in my system. <laughs> <laughs> what what are you clocking in at right now? What are you weighing? Uh, two ten. Oh, nice. All right. You yeah. have gained a little bit. Yeah. And what what were you last year? Like one sixty five? Oh no! Oh no. <laughs> no, man, no way, no way. Uh, I played it about a, I played it about even two hundred last year. Nah, gotcha. you're, you're looking good, man. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. You know what's really impressive to me, and and you know. When when you first came to San Diego State, Winston, you know you had all this hype around you, right? I mean, went to this powerhouse school, and uh, it was you, and there were a bunch of other guys that were Division One players. In fact, I think last year, didn't you play against a bunch of your high school teammates? They play at Arizona now. Yeah, uh, well, uh, a couple of my teammates, uh, like you said, one uh, Brandon Ashley went to Arizona, Nigel Williams Gross went to uh, Washington, Anthony Bennett went to UNLV. Um, so I got to play against a couple of my teammates over the past two years. Yeah, so, I mean, when you have a high school that has four guys on it. I know. That are all Division One players and all nationally ranked and all that other kind of stuff. I mean, you come in with a lot of hype. And, you know, last year I think a lot of us were going, God, this guy is like this four-star recruit. We heard all about him. And it, it, it took a year, but, man, now we're starting to see what all the hype was really all about. Right, man. Well, uh like I said, man, and like I said all year, I've been trying to play with a chip on my shoulder, but play with it the right way. You know what I'm saying? I know nobody owes me anything, and uh, I just worked hard on my game, worked hard on my mental, and uh, I'm glad I'm starting to show the great city of San Diego what, uh, like you said, what all the hype was about. Yeah, well, I mean, you tell, you, but you tell us, though. I mean, when you come in that decorated, and again, I don't want to make it seem like the game comes easy, but again, when you've got four guys on the floor in high school, that are all Division One prospects and going to big time schools, Arizona, UNLV, et cetera. You know, I don't know. Were you guys just annihilating people, and then you got here and just thought it was going to come easy? You tell us. Uh, well, you know, in high school, um, I got to play with some great players. I got to play with some pros, McDonald All Americans, and et cetera, like you said. And uh, the game was very easy. And uh, you know, it was a little different for me coming here last year. But uh, I got to play with some great players last year as well, you know, Chase Tapley, Jamal Franklin, and uh, guys like that. So it was just a little bit of adjustment. It it, it took me a little while longer, but uh, I don't think it had anything to do with uh, the game being too easy in high school or anything like that. So you you were raised in Houston, high school in Nevada, and now you're out here in San Diego with us, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's correct. Yeah. How how was it growing up in Houston? I'm a Texas guy myself. I'm, I'm from the Dallas area. Oh, okay. Well, then, you know, man, Texas is a great state. Mm -hmm. Um, If you look around the NCAA, it's littered with great players that are from the state of Texas, from all over the country. And uh, it's just real competitive, man. Uh, From an early age, I began to play basketball, and uh, I became good at it. And uh, it was my passion. It was something I loved. And uh, my parents just pushed me in that. And uh, in the 10th grade, I I was fortunate enough to be able to get invited to Finley Prep High School. And uh, I continued my high schooling out there, and then uh, I chose to come play for Coach Fish, a legendary coach. Mm -hmm. Winston Shepard from the San Diego State basketball team. He's the second-leading scorer right now. Uh, You know, you look at X Thames, and and he's averaging 17 points a game, and there's Winston Shepard averaging 13 points per game. So, Winston, you got to explain this to us, because I know a lot of people listening will have no idea, and I can assure you that Billy Ray and I have no idea. (laughs) So, how do you wind up going from a high school in Houston to this Finley Prep in Nevada? How does that all work? Um, well, it, it basically, it works from the AAU circuit uh, side of things. You know, there's a lot of national camps and uh, tournaments and things like that that I was blessed and fortunate to be invited to and play in. And, uh, 
from that point on, it's just whose eye see you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the, the great coaches at Family Prep, Coach Mike Peck, and then uh, the assistant, Coach Simon, who's now an assistant at UNLV, they uh, they saw me. Uh, they liked what they saw. And uh, they ex- extended an offer to me to be able to come take my talents to Family Prep and work on my game. And uh, my parents thought it was what was best for me. And uh, so that's how it happened. So you're thinking, like, do I take my talents to South Beach or do I take no. my talents to Finley, Finley Prep? Prep? And you decided Finley that's Prep. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was a great opportunity for me to uh, work on my game and play with the best and just continue to uh, grow. So that's why I went. All right. All Speaking right. of growth, uh, six eight, and we just updated it to 210 pounds. What, what is your what is your target weight? What do you? How big do you want to get? Uh, I don't. You know. The good thing about me is uh, I know that I haven't hit my adult body, as my father would call it. You know, I'm not <laughs> big. I'm not as big as I'm gonna get, mm-hmm. but I think I'm at a great weight to play and uh, and utilize my game with. Um, I would say I would like to get up somewhere around 215. You know, and if I'm blessed and fortunate to be able to go to the next level, I would say somewhere around 225. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, you talk about getting to the next level. Um, getting into people's eyes, and you, you talked about that in your high school days. When the team gets up into the top ten and is number seven in the country now, I mean, everybody's now starting to pay attention and watch. I mean, obviously the big win at Kansas is the marquee win of the season, but all these wins in a row, all these wins over California teams, mm-hmm. defending home court, it, it just seems like now, and you tell us if you're feeling it, but it seems like everybody's starting to watch San Diego State or at least pay attention. Uh, well, you know, that's something that Coach Fish addresses every day. And he says, uh, as, long as, as long as you keep winning, um, more people want to jump on the bandwagon. And uh, as soon as it stops, then people will point the finger at you. So we just try not to get too high or too low on things like that. You know, we knew coming into the season that we were going to have a great season. We are going to be a good team. Now everybody else is just starting to find out. But like I said, we just want to keep it going. And uh, we don't want to get to feeling ourselves too much. We just want to keep it going and uh, like – you know, uh, we beat Kansas, but we don't want that to be the highlight of our season. You know what I'm saying? We just want that to be one win, and uh, we just want to continue. Yeah, It's nice to have one guy in Steve Fisher that can double as a coach and a philosopher for you guys, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, it, it's an interesting observation you're making, though, that, that you guys knew you were going to be good. You weren't preseason top 25. No one picked you to win the Mountain West Conference. And even when you Love started that. rattling off wins, it took a long time for anybody to vote you into the top 25, and then it took even longer to start moving up the polls. So you guys knew something was going on, but other people outside did not. Absolutely. You know, we, we come to practice and work hard every day. Um, I've, I've gone on record saying plenty of times that everybody on the squad worked vigorously over the summer on their game. Um, including myself, you know, I got to, I was fortunate enough to be invited to a couple national camps this summer where I got to go and work on my game. And most importantly of all, just um, get the right mentality and change my mindset. And uh, I come back to school with that. And uh, every, along with everyone who's worked on their game, along with a great coach and coach Fisher, and uh, you have the formula for a great season, and uh, we just want to keep it going. Yep. A lot of people said, oh, hey, next mm-hmm. year is going to be great. All these kids are coming in, all these freshmen. Just wait two years from now. San Diego State's going to be so good. Look at them now, number seven in the country, being led. Don't have to wait. Yeah, by, and here's their second-leading scorer, Winston Shepard. All right, wow. before you go, you ready? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, what kind of music you like? Uh, well, I'm a down-south guy. Uh, probably the music I listen to is probably the music a lot of people wouldn't and don't listen to. But uh, I love the slower type of music. You know what I'm saying? I'm a slow-moving guy. I don't like to go too fast, and uh, I just like to chill out. You like some slow jams? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, so give me an example of some slow jams that the brother digs. <laughs> well, my, uh, well, my favorite rapper is a guy named Currency from down south, uh, from Louisiana. Oh, Billy Ray, you know Currency. Oh, sure. Well, naturally. Oh, no yeah. problem. No, no, we know that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, that's what I like to listen to before the game, after the game, just to mellow myself out and uh, just to kind of calm down. All right. Well, that's cool. Now, let me ask you this. Um, do you know who Kid and Play are? Yeah. Uh, that's the guy that J.J. looks like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My man. There you My go. man, Winston Shepard. Okay. All right. Answer. So good. So now, now you know that J.J. looks like Kid because he's got the high top fade, right? Exactly. But you don't know any of Kid and Play's music. 
Uh, no, I have to say I don't. This is ridiculous. This is insane. What year were you born? Uh, 1993. Oh, come on, dude. What do you mean, come on, dude, 93? Dude, 93 was when Kid and Play was just going off, yeah, man. Yeah, and he was an infant. I know, but Kid, he was in diapers. Kid and Play had house party, <laughs> and they were having pajama jammy jams. Oh, no. I mean, oh, come on, man. To my defense, though, I did see some of their movies. Okay, so you do know who Kid and Play are. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so here's the deal. So we had JJ on last week, and we asked him about the uh... origin of the high top fade, right? Right. And he has no clue about Kid from Kid and Play. Mm-hmm. I mean, he knows it's sad, really. but but right, like it's not like it's like some great homage to uh, you know to kid from Kid and Play. Sure. It's just it's just he's rocking the high top fade, but he has no respect for where it comes from, right? <laughs> so you know what we did? What you guys do? We called Kid from Kid and Play. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, and we had him on last Friday. And what did he say? He said, "I don't know about that young brother down at San Diego State." He said, "But I've heard about him." He goes, and I'm going to come down there and check out the Aztecs playing some hoops. So wow. the whole athletic department heard about it. And everybody went nuts. And now there's talk that we might have Kid come down from L.A. and do the I Believe chant before the oh. game. No way. Now, I know it's a little old school for you, but come on. How, how tight would that be? That would be great. You know, anytime you can have a celebrity come and in the gym and – come to see us and watch us. I mean, that'd be great. Be pretty swag, right? I'm going to have to do some research on his music. Yeah. Yes, you are. (laughs) And and his dance moves, too, by the way. (laughs) Well, I'm not much of a dancer myself, though. (laughs) Really? Not at all. All right. Well... Billy Ray and I are. Yes, you know we're kind of we're kind of like the internationally old, known. Yeah, we're dancers. sort of like the old white guys <laughs> of, uh, of, of of kid and play. You yeah, know? kind of like exactly right. You know, Winston. Oh, um, nonetheless, uh, we do appreciate your time. We are loving your game. Mm-hmm. We uh, think it's great where the Aztecs are, and we'll uh, we'll see you down there. Uh, you guys got a couple road games coming up. Good luck and uh, bring home some wins. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, man. Thanks, Pleasure, Winston. man. Great talking to you. I love these kids. Good I'm kid. telling you, every one of these kids that comes on the on the radio uh-huh. from San, all these kids from San Diego State's basketball program, they got great personalities. Yeah. They play along, and they got game. 